Wow. Today's Friday. Okay, so 31. We're down to 30s gone. 29's gone. Oh, we're on day 28 left. Okay. 28. 28. Four weeks. And I got to leave next weekend for personal reasons. So the next, the long weekend screwed. Oh, look at that 62 Impala. I never noticed that. We have one of those out back, a super sport, but not a convertible. Nice car. We should whack the roof up. Yes. Anyway. Um, okay, so what is on the agenda? We have Miss Cass back. She had other things to do yesterday, Blair. So what's happening here with the main body? Well, we, uh, we had the inners painted, gooped. I imagine Cassidy's going to tune up some of my goopage a little bit around my seams. She's good at that. I'm not. Uh, door jams need to be gooped. They're prepped. Yep. Ready to paint. Uh, the firewall is prepped, but I got to hammer out some dents. I'm going to smooth out a little more room for the big distributor, just so we have the option. Okay. So I'm going to do some shrinks. I'm going to change the shape of the firewall just in case we have a big distributor. I don't okay. know if we need to, but I'm going to give it. Okay. Some well, actually, you know, we could just uh, later today, because I do have a big distributor on another 327. We can just pop it off. I could bolt the tranny and transmission in, and we could just set it in there just to see what the clearance is for shits and work. giggles. I'm yeah, yeah. Job. <laughs> and I thought he was going to go, like, snap on me, but no, he just snapped a fly out of the air. Like, oh, he is killer. That dog, man, he is quick. Did you ever feed the poor thing? I haven't said him yet, but I was talking he was going to take a chew on you. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the jams. Okay, the jams. Goop the trunk. Cass, you hear this? Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. So then we can spray black epoxy in there and do our trunk splatter paint. We have yep. Spray out to do it. Back. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna, we're going to try it. Oh, I got to go drill the other half of the seat mounts out of the other floor. Oh, right. Right, because we need these. And cause... where's the tunnel I got to weld in for the four speed? Oh, it's in a box. And where's the suspension? And it should be here today. Like, there's a few little things we need. Details, Blair, details. Just look at the big picture, buddy. <laughs> so in here, um, I'm thinking of making some room. There's some dance here where I thought they had the distributor. But anyhow, I'm just going to shrink that back or stretch it back, I guess, to be more accurate. Well, we might not even have to, but that's isn't that extra work unless we know we aren't going to do it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's throw a motor in just to see. Well, I mean, it only takes five minutes. Drop it down. It's got the frame horns. Anyway, I was just thinking, and then uh, and then we could see. Do Don't think. I know. Hard to be okay. To do that for you, so, okay. Uh, and what's Cass going to be working on? So she's doing the goop. Okay, she's going to prep. The firewall, too. Yep, firewall. So you're doing gooping. Okay. And uh, just fine. Oh, and the dash. Like I body worked it, but you might want to fine tune some of my. And I've got to phone and see if we have a dash pad coming or not. Because I don't remember if I ordered one. Well, really? Well, I mean, the one on that car is pretty good, but we'd have to paint it. Yeah, okay. Is it plastic or is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just plastic. Yeah. Okay. And so we've got to get. The suspension on this, the rear end. Hopefully our axle will show up today or tomorrow. It's been shipped. Right. Yeah, that was a good... And we got to get all those panels into the other bay. That yes, before yes. Before you throw it up the stuff. Yeah, so Cass, what do you think now that Blair sprayed the clear? Let's go. It is a pretty sick color. It's just too bad that... Oh, actually, maybe with the light, it's almost showing the real color today, right? Yeah, I think it's going to look pretty sick. Cruising down the road, white top. It's super silvery, eh? Blair's finger. Blair's finger. <laughs> See that? Cass does all the work and Blair lays his fingerprint. Absolutely. <laughs> Taking credit. I say ladies clear code, yep. I get the right. Okay. Oh. 
You know, if you had been thinking and you would have sounded the f***ing paint, or you're going to weld the spot plugs back. <laughs> no, didn't care. All right, you're, you're, it's going to be hot enough. Burn through it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, f I mean, they had eight f***ing spot welds. Yeah. And then these two are welded too, right? Mm -hmm. well, like it was f***ing went, holy f***. Do you want me to stand on it or not? Nope. Okay. Don't like it, but what? Ah, they just seem too close to the door. What? Ah, they seem too close to the door. Are they wider? Um, well, we can't really move them over. Well, I mean, the thing is, this is a 66 floor, right? No, the trunk floor was a 66. Ah. How wide is the seat? Well, I'm just looking, the steering wheel's basically right in the middle of the seat within a, well, if you draw it right here. I mean, Blair, look, is, it, is that not the middle of the seat from the back? I disagree, but it probably cost me 20 bucks, so it looks <laughs> good to me, Mr. <laughs> Welder. Well, yeah, well, I mean, we can't really move it over. Uh, yes, Blair, actually, we can move it over one. Right, because there's two at the back. I've already put it. No, no, just undo this. And so you don't have one bolt holding it instead of two then? Hang on, well, what's it? Oh, the front one lines up though, right? Yep. Yep. Whatever, stick it there. Yep. But see, but the back is, oh no, there's one at the, well, there's. Unless that should go over. What? That looks better. Yes. Right, it go give it then. Then can you push it over a bit or not? That's where it goes. What do you want? Yeah. There? Yeah, okay. Mother, I have to grab it. Holy, f that's way better than my '68. Okay. Well, you know what I mean. You're way the f back here. Yeah. Yeah, I can't really go over anymore because the console's here. Good. Steering wheel's gonna be right here. Bob's your uncle. Perfect. Okay. We'll make it work. If not, we'll buy other seats when we're in Ontario. Yeah, 
Now, because you're supposed to have two in case of a f right? You don't want the seats coming forward. The seat belts hold you in the car, not the seats. Okay. Is that true? Well, mm -hmm. seat belts are bolted to the floor. I guess so, yeah. Blair. Hey. This one's inside, that one's outside. Why is, did you notice? I put the seat in the car. I'm just saying this, bolt is on the inside, outside, that one's on the inside. You said they were identical. Oh. So they are. Yeah. That's how they came out of the other car. Yeah, okay, yeah, because they are identical. They're both the yeah. same. I'm yeah. just wondering why one's outside and one's inside. Well, they're both outside. If you put those things side by side, yeah. you every one of them the same. Right? You think it would move the seat? Well, no. I put the seat down yeah. on the front, yeah. bolted down, so those yeah. things have to be where they are yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. for it to fit the outside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, because the outside doesn't change. We can't right. Exactly. That. Right? Yeah, because those are the factory mounts. Yeah. So I just got to plug weld these down and we're good. Okay. No, I'm just going with the f Yes, because you think they'd be left and the right, but they're not. No. All right, so I'm just gonna clean up around the place a little bit and then I'm gonna blow the hell out of this car and then I'm gonna finish doing all the seam sealer on the inside of the car and the outside of the car while Blair works on his uh, engine bay, getting that shrunk back just in case the distributor is too big, correct? Yes, always. You wanna tell the camera what you're gonna do? Oh, <laughs> I'm going to go to the firewall and I'm going to try to hammer out a few little creases in there from someone pulling a motor over the years, maybe. And I'm going to try to put in a dish to allow lots of room for the distributor. We'll see how that goes. But that's my plan for right now, do some hammering on the firewall. Sweet. Rocker still needs some. I gotta, I gotta sand that. 
And the quarter meets the rocker? On this side? I already sealed the other side. Is it supposed to be flush or slightly indented? Which part? Oh, slightly indented is better. Okay, well that's what I did on this side, but this one still has Bondo on it. Gotta... Oh, my left Yeah. Run it. 80 hertz, you made it or something. Did you give us the sander back? Uh, yeah, I think it's inside. Yes. Yeah. Frank, it's too hot out here. Nice job with the fire roll. Oh, Cassidy. Looks good? Yeah, real nice. Yeah, this car has to be done in, what, 29 days? 80 there, what do you think of it? Do you need to tap it in? Oh, See, oh yeah, okay. Because it's kicked up underneath, but underneath is Okay, but is, this line here and this line here are... Can you fill them? Yeah. Yep, then you're not to deal with them. Okay. Yes, okay. My mistake for not noticing sooner. And then, yeah, down here is... Well, thin. underneath, you just gotta be smooth. It just has to be smooth, so you don't yes. want it straight? Okay. Okay, when you're here. Wow. And if I do it half so you see it's half I'm not half. saying half <laughs> Why did you fix the dent? And it's not the outside of a quarter pound. Okay, and I will go five. take the ashtray out of that one because I don't know where this one is. And he's bagged up this little piece that goes in here. Okay. So I will find that. And this is heater control, so that doesn't matter. Okay, my apologies, young lady. Okay, Hi. you're doing an excellent hey, job. Well, I'm trying to sand this hard bondo. Oh, it was such a big area. Okay, it just Fair spread Yes. 
Very good. Oh, so nice. You're rocking it. This is what? Oh. Important? I don't think so. That's something I have to go over with them is buttons for the dash. Yes, good point.
like 62, too. <clears throat> It's twisted. Uh, it's kind of hard. Adjusted at all, right? Huh? I, I haven't adjusted it. I just put the bolts in. I haven't. So what I wanted. I got much too much far. Well, there's a ton of bolts in. Yeah, when you look at those four bolts, when you move the bottom two, you can move the arm up or down, and that changes. Uh, okay. I'll phone that. 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 I'll phone and just make sure it fit in the car. And it does. So it does it fit? Body man. Well, a little. Yeah. So it fits the man black? Yes, yes. I'm yes. going to straighten the roof. Yeah. And uh, everything else I got working. So I haven't adjusted it, but I'm not going to waste my time adjusting it. Anyway, yeah, I'm ready to go. They're supposed to find us new ones of. Uh, supposed to be doing yeah. These and these are supposed to be coming new. I know. I know. Yeah, so the drive's going to be either forward or back when we mount it or it ain't going to work. You know, we'll, we'll get the other one. This one is passenger. Okay, so you can mount that one. We'll go to straighties. I think we're missing the wire that goes across Army. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, that's by the edge first. It just locks with the other one. Just the one lock. Doesn't really make sense, does it? Well, yeah. Why wouldn't it? Well, because normally you have brakes on both wheels. Yeah, but this isn't a brake. It's just it's a latch. You see? Okay. Just, you know, that's why it's got, that's got the big spring. That makes no sense at all. No, I disagree. That thing would be sitting corner ways all the freaking time. No, it can't, because once it's bolted in at the same, how can it go anyway? Well, the seat can move. Yeah, but once these are bolted down, then when this one moves, this one has to move. It does, but with one side locked and the other side not locked, any time you move your feet around, the one side's gonna no, track forward and back. It can't, because <laughs> this stops it from moving. But the seat's not stopped from moving on the track. Yeah, how are you going to pivot the seat when it's bolted down with six bolts? Hey man, you bolt down one side of a car, I can push the other side forward and back. Uh, well, I'm just saying you can't. I know what you're saying. Because it has to pivot There to is move. a possibility you could be right, but I doubt it. Do you want to bet 20 bucks? Sure, 20 Dang. bucks. Dang. The other side locks, it's not freewheeling. Let's, let's go look at my 68. No, we look it up. Your car is probably broken too. You had the seats on the wrong side for 40 years. Did you want to look at another set that we took out of Connor's car? Will well, that settle the argument? Up and find out. I'm happy to be proven wrong. Hey. I just want to know. And I'm thinking, you're wrong. Well, Don't. there's, there's you nothing could here. Be to, right. There's nothing here to clip. Like, there's nothing. Where, where are you going to run the clip? And you figure they just leave one side freewheeling all yes, the time. Yes, because it had to, the whole thing would have to go sideways for it to move. Perhaps. 
Right? It can't move. Yeah, it can. Unless it goes sideways. And with six bolts, it can't move. I bolted seats in where I didn't have a lock on the one side because I forgot to put something in or loosen it up. Let me go get another seat. Sure. Hey guys, morning. Anyway, um, you've heard how we're gonna use our 66 seats because our 64 is a garbage. So we're gonna sandblast the backs. These are out of a 66 Chevelle. We're gonna put some new seat covers on them. But when we put in the new floor, problem is to put bucket seats when they, when they make these floors. Like the floor we put in, it's basically only set up for a split bench. So you've got a mount here and a mount there, which fits, but there's supposed to be two more mounts for the bucket seats here and over there. So we're gonna have to liberate them from our parts car uh, since it was a bucket seat console car. So we're gonna have to get uh, our spot, spot drilling kit out. And let's take a look. I'm pretty sure they were, looked in good shape. So we've got it to, uh, here, here we are. So we need, these two plates here to mount the bucket seats so we're going to uh, drill out the spot welds and we'll extricate these and then we'll fit them to the seat and then weld them back onto our floor anyway that's the plan for this morning okay maybe this isn't spot weld that i see one weld here one weld there one weld at the back Huh. I find that hard to believe. Maybe that's one there too, maybe. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure it out. Anyway, we'll figure it out, see what we got. You can see them right one two three okay maybe even four maybe even five get my hair caught up in this drill and I'm not gonna be happy. Oh, 
Look at the second one's that easy. Jesus. Gee whiz, I mean. Okay, now you can see the spot welds. One, two, three, four. Beauty. Tell the people what you wore. Yeah, that's just two again. Probably replace these studs after, but. Making me sweat. There's one. There's two. And one, two, is there four? Or is there three back here? Oh, you dirty bastard. One, two, three, four. Holy moly. Mind you, I'm assuming this would be fairly good steel since it's got to hold the seat belt in. Lincoln, you couldn't pick anywhere else to lay but right underneath the tire? Really? Well, good thing we got two jacks downs and a jack underneath it, but still, you should pick a better spot. Yes, you should. All right, anyway, we're taking the bell housing bolts out. I was filming uh, the opposite way because I'm not very smart. Okay. Six bolts, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's anything else holding that on? Um, Blair, that should come off, shouldn't it? What's that? The everything should come off with that throw up bearing and everything, no? Well, should. If the bearing pushes up against, it'll slide onto the shaft. Yeah, but I mean. Oh, oh you're saying you undid the transmission and. Yeah, it should all. if it should come off. Yeah, shouldn't it? Uh, yeah, the pressure plate is screwed on. Yeah, there's no, uh, there's no, uh, what do yeah, you call it? It's all separate, and then you slide. Okay, I think it's just gravity. Oh. And then you can take the transmission off. Separately. Yeah, it shouldn't you have to. Oh. Yeah, but you don't need it on there. No. You're doing. No, I just want to. So the dowels are tight there. Maybe it's it. I don't want to crack this bell housing. Oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking it should just all come out of there. Just like that. Ah, beauty. What is this? Oh, speedo. Oh, we might need that. Okay. Oh, right, yeah, look, man, let's do a video. There's a mouse nest in our flight. <laughs> hey, Avery, we got one too, little buddy. Wow, this is one weird flywheel, man. Huh. Blair, when you took that shifter off yesterday, were you using a 3 8 ratchet and a 9 16 I can't, I know we had this one. I thought I had another ratchet with a 9 16 because I can't find it. I was using the electric ratchet. 
Okay, so it's got the 916s on there. it. Ah! Oh. You are the f***ing man, Mr. Smith. <laughs> okay, where the f*** did it go? I need a flywheel on this one. I don't know if it's going to be the same. That one's pretty funky looking flywheel. This one's out of this car, 64, but the motor we're putting in is it. Now I gotta Google it and see if the flywheel's the same. Well, guys, we got the tranny, tranny out, bell housing out. And it looks like somebody's been rooming in here for a while. Anyway, I'm gonna take that off and, I mean, the clutch looks like it was in good shape. But anyway, we need the flywheel to start up our other motors. Maybe we'll just reuse this clutch. It's brand new. <laughs> there you go. That makes sense. Just like the old door handles, hand in hand. Yes. So he says it's the same. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good clutch. Yeah, I mean, pressure plate looks mint. I mean, the flywheel looks mint too, but it needs to be resurfaced. And that's pretty well pooched. Yeah, yeah, well, just the springs that get rusty like that, it changes things. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to put all new in anyway. Yeah. So all right, we're going to take a chance. So all you need is a flywheel, right? Yeah. The next day. Board and Black. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Saturday morning. Um, day 27 left on our uh, foolish construction schedule. 27. Okay, so this morning, uh, I'm going to move some stuff. Okay, what the plan is, yesterday we got the uh, seat brackets mounted. And we notice, even though my mistake, we thought the seats were exactly the same. They're not quite, but we're going to go with what we've got. They might be offset by about one inch this way, but there's no way we around it because our 64s are thrashed and these mounting brackets are already in the floor. So Well, the 67 seats are wider. Yeah, they're, they're slightly wider, so... And the tracks are narrower, so they're it's actually offset a little this way, but I'm pretty sure uh, that we can live with it. If not, we will do some modifications. Yeah. Uh, we've got the roof in, somewhat fits. Wow, yeah, it needs some adjustment. Yeah. I mean, we straighten out the roof rail. Yep. Everything fits and bolts in, so everything's straight. And luckily, this one is a manual, so it's not that complicated. We don't, really, we don't have to run the plumbing. We don't need the pump. Oh, it doesn't even have the hole in the uh, thing there. Remember the other ones? No room for the pump or hydraulic system at all. Yeah, cool. Keep it simple. This is a KISS car. Keep it simple, stupid. We masked up. Cassidy got that ready. Because this morning, I was going to epoxy inside the trunk and use the original trunk splatter paint. Yes. But now, now... We're going to stick the rear end back in using all the old suspension and bolts and springs. Because we have to get this into the booth and we don't want to wait three days for our suspension to show but up. It's We had 35 hot rodders here. We could have just picked the whole thing up and carried it into the booth. And have somebody trip and fall and blow out their back and sue us for you negligence. And, yeah, yes, anyway. What could go right? Nothing. What could go wrong? Everything. So now this morning... Uh, we're going to move some stuff around because we've got to move all this stuff, right? And then I've got to move all this stuff. So we're going to do some stuff moving. And uh, we'll get the rear end, that rear end. Blair's got to put the drums back on. It's all reassembled. And then we're going to put it in there temporarily since I saved all the original control arms and bolts just in case we needed them for some unforeseen reason. And then we can pick up the frame 
with the skid steer from the uh, cross member, whip it out and get it into the paint booth. Hopefully that's all gonna happen in the next couple hours, God willing. Or, yeah. Yes, no? Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> I am totally committed to your plan. What's your plan? Paint the inners right where it sits. Do the, the trunk floor. Yeah, but we still got to get it into the booth. Yeah, but by then we'll have suspension, which may show up this afternoon or Monday. It's Saturday. It won't show up today. Yesterday you said maybe. Yeah, well, no, I said Friday maybe or Monday. That's what they told me. Okay, then paint it right there, and that saves me all this work. Good plan. Okay, we're throwing my plan out. I don't have to move any of this. I'm going to do some engine assembly. You're going to move that stuff. I still got to move it, yes. But anyway, so Blair's going to paint it right here, make a BFM all over my shop, and we're going to go for it. Problem solved. Go, Blair, go. Yeah, man. Stay tuned. 12 seconds later. Hey, guys. Now that we've just decided not to do it, we have, oh, reconsider yeah. we have reconsidered our options, and because we have our... Uh, Faithful and loyal producer coming and staying here tonight, Blair, out of the goodness of his heart and the kindness of his soul, has decided not to poison him with toxic spray fume. So now we're going to put the car, as per our original plan, in the paint booth. This is all for you, Matt. This is all for you, little buddy. <laughs> all this work, and what did it? <laughs> yeah. Blair, oh, are you okay? <laughs> And so it begins. <laughs> Link, Link, are you okay? You gonna supervise? Okay. Yeah, you're getting impaled right in the <laughs> eh? Yes. Give it a sec. Okay. Hey. Uh oh, snap. Okay, there we go. I'm happy. Okay, yeah, you're just touching here. Okay. Yes. So that's the spring pocket. Maybe that's what he was talking about. Well, I don't know. That's not a pocket. But, well, it's kind of an inverse pocket. But it goes the other way. No, it goes yeah, this go. way. No, it doesn't. Well, why does it hold it? It holds the spring down. Oh, 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 it goes. Inside the spring and holds it down. This, so the spring sits against here, the bottom ring. Yes. Okay, yes. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, okay. I gotta do a serious cleanup here. Anyhow, I'm just gonna pick up the rear end, slide it across over here. And start putting the old suspension back in. I hope this works. Hey Mike, you handy? Um, all I want is that when I pull this across, I need you to pull that down. You don't have to pick it up, just slide it down the ramp. Well, do you want me to do, do the heavy lifting? So I'm, Are you I'm, freaking I'm in way better me? shape. <laughs> You're freaking ancient compared to me. That doesn't mean nothing. I'm a laborer. You're about the body man. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Gonna get heavy. Okay. Over over your way a bit. Okay. You got her. Got her. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to go and get the four parts that we need? No. Yes. Oh. Yes. Get them, but I don't need them right now. Okay. So what we should do is get the f uh, the tranny jack, and then you can use it to pivot that yes, up. Yes, I have one. Yeah. In the back of my car. No, no, I mean, I got the tranny oh, jack. Oh, that thing. Yes. Well, Whatever. Then... You, you find me the parts, I can bolt okay. the rear end in a freaking car. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. I'm sure? very sure. You sometimes make me question myself. What? Yeah. The only thing I sometimes make you question is your sanity. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, I was wrong. I only kept half the bolts. But let's see what we got. We don't even have to bolt it. Freaking ready rod or what? Yeah, yeah, here, but don't try not to don't, don't lose those. I mean, I, we might not need them, but you never know. They're just weird little. Yeah. Sh 
that's one. Say one, two, three, four. Oh, only the one adjust, say? Yes. The one end. Is that in all GMs? I thought it was, but it isn't. Really? Someone suggested maybe it's only on the four speeds or the SS. I don't know. Could have been, yeah. Like but I after said, I huh? shot my mouth off, I went and looked around and it's not on all of them. Okay, there you go. Should have bet you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so if you find the coils. Did we throw them out? They should be right there. There you go. I think those are them, aren't they? Yep. I'm running. Okay, are we using these coils again? No. Okay. Well, when we we get rid of it, right? It all goes to coil over suspension. Well, yeah, I was hoping, but I have no idea what we get. Well, well yeah, because Connor didn't use coils, did I he? I have no idea when. So, yes, we're all good. Yeah. Yeah, those things just clamp into the yeah, bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like somebody somebody already cut a coil off these. Yeah, it does. But yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, let me check. Did you find that other one? Oh, I wasn't looking yet, man. I'm going to sweep up under here. Cassidy is such a mess. Hey, Brad, look, look what I found. Oh, Mr. Kiefer of the nuts and bolts. There you go. <laughs> Just reinforces your same everything. That's right. Oh, look. Here's the other spring pocket. <laughs> oh, man. Look. Save everything. Yeah. All right. So, short ones. Yeah. Man. Every time, man. Every time. I gotta get a real freaking job. At home. At home. Oh, yeah, we might need this piece for that other steering column, eh, Blair? Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. No, it isn't. Cam goes on the rear bolt. Don't want to lose those.
Oh, do you want those things or not? I got them. Okay. They're blasted. They're painted. Okay. Uh, the quality control is astounding, Mr. Smith. Yes. Uh, it is. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> yes. Sometimes. It's just like Yeah Yeah Bill said. Mike's a really good driver. Sometimes. <laughs> I was like, that's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes not so good. <laughs> uh, depends if it's the daytime or nighttime. Yes, uh, well, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. If it's raining or it's not. Okay. If it's fresh pavement or it's If there's lines and there's a whole bunch of brown. Yes. Okay, lower control arms. So for a guy at home who just wants to make the suspension a little bit better on the upper control arms and the lowers, you can weld a plate eighth inch over top of this. It makes them a bit stiffer, there's less flex. Geez, do you want some shocks to put in there? No, I don't want any shocks to put in here. Are you freaking kidding me? I saved the old ones just in case. Oh good. They're worth 10 cents a pound at the freaking scrapyard. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Whoops. How am I going to do that? Hmm. My favorite bolts. Trying to save these old rusty ones. No. Yeah. Some. Maybe I can put some tension on it. There we go. Pull the control arm sideways to stop the bolt from turning. Good enough for this job. Temporary job. <laughs> awesome. There we go. We're just about there. This is this is triangulated four link. When you see these upper arms going off at almost 45 degrees. I really like this. With the four link, the lower control arms and upper ones in the same plane, then you need a pan hard bar that goes across. It works great, racers use it. This is simple. The only problem with these is trying to fit exhaust through. But it's a nice system, I like it. So yeah, you weld a piece of flat bar across that, stiffens it right up, less flex. When you're really romping on her and it hooks up, these won't twist. Cheap, effective, kind of cool. Makes them look so much better too, nice and smooth.
floor, take the floor off. Put the fenders off, take the fenders off. Anyway, it's all good, it's coming. But once it's in the booth, you'll be happy. <laughs> well, yeah, it'd be great working in the booth, putting in new suspension, front yes. suspension, laying on the floor, because we don't have it on a freaking hoist. Yeah, well, Monday, if the suspension comes, we can just put the front end in. Or we could always put the old one back in just to get it back here. Yeah, that'd be a great idea, Mike. <laughs> probably only take totally you. want me to flip my tooth. <laughs> It'd probably only take a couple hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to start losing all the parts when I take it apart. You know what the MSD f***ing a distributor is? 800 bucks. No, with the wires, I mean, that just seems like... What happened? I would do. What? Alright, well, whatever. The player. This is the only one. This is the only one. Everything else, that one's ready to run. No, great. Good. Right? But this one, I mean, we picked the wrong one. I hate did you get that? Yeah, we, we picked the wrong one. Yes, we did. We wang the wrong number. Hey, man, yeah. we had a beautiful freaking Roadrunner convertible. Yeah. Ready to assemble. Yes. We'd be done. We'd be sitting back, having Mai Tais, yeah. the to Timbers. Yeah. Like, no way. Whose idea was this? Absolutely <laughs> yours. <laughs> Absolutely. 120%. I accept full responsibility for my own idiots. Which does not yes. help me in the least. Yeah. And there you have it. That's 70s, man. Look at that lift kit. Oh, yeah. Look at that rake. Way 70s. Hey, man. Like slammer to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking dig it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Pretty glad I talked Mike into letting me put the old suspension back in. Yeah, take a gun of your idea, Blair. <laughs>
Wow, very impressive. I'm shocked to the me. Try this silly game one more time. Yeah. More than one way to get a 64 in the booth. Hey, well, I got to turn the jack slightly. Slightly. Ah, no, I'll try this. Okay. No, it's a piece of crap. There you go. Oh, okay, there's more. Didn't have to. Okay, turn it again and I can go out of it. We don't have to. We're on the, uh, we're on the concrete with Whole car. Okay, I can't really pull in the red spark. Too much. Oh, hard to stop. 